and another new year is coming on Bengali calendar. To make your Poyla Boishak more special, make this thali and enjoy with your family and friends. Hello viewers, myself Shuparna, welcome to Simply Food. Today I'm going to show you traditional Bengali non veg thali where you get from dal to sweets. Before starting today's video, subscribe my channel and share this recipe with your friends and family. In today's thali, I'm going to serve rice, Corolla dal that is spicy bitter goat, Macher Mathar dal that is yellow lentils with fish head, Postodi alu bhaja or potato fry with poppy seed, Begun bhaja that is fried eggplant, Ejor chingri or green jackfruit with prawns, Rui Macher kalia or rohu fish in spicy gravy, Kosha mangsho, Kacha Amir chutney or raw mango chutney, Pies or rice and milk pudding and malai kulfi. I will start our cooking by making ejo chingri that is green jackfruit with prawns cooked in a spicy gravy. Ejo chingri is a traditional Bengali dish. This is one of those timeless tea for what we Bengalis can die. In a karai, add 2 teaspoons mustard oil, heat the oil, add diced potato, fry them, Give them a color. I do not fry the potatoes entirely. When they get their color, just take them out from the pan and take aside. Into the same oil, I am frying the prawns on medium heat. I marinate the prawns with a little bit of turmeric powder and salt. Don't overcook the prawns, otherwise they'll chewy. Take them out from the pan. Into the remaining oil, I just add half teaspoon oil and temper the oil with two bay leaf, one fourth teaspoon parch foro. Now add sliced onion. I have taken two medium sized onion. I will give the link of parch foro in the description box. When the onions are soft and transluted, then add 1 teaspoon garlic paste, saute them. Add tomatoes, chopped lengthwise, fry them all together. Now time for our spices. First I will add 1 teaspoon turmeric powder. 1 and half teaspoon red chili powder 1 teaspoon cumin powder 1 teaspoon coriander powder half teaspoon sugar 1 teaspoon ginger paste mix them very nicely you can see the color it's so bright add previously fried potatoes mix it Now add previously half boiled ajor that is green jackfruit. I add little salt to raw green jackfruit while boiling but I don't add any turmeric powder. I pressure cook them for 3 whistles. Cook with masala. Do not boil them entirely otherwise it will be smashy while cooking. Add warm water little by little and cook them. Don't add normal water. In Bengal, ichor is also known as gach patha because the texture of ichor is fleshy like a meat, especially mutton. Add salt to taste. Mix it. Add water. Give light stir. And cover it and cook for 15 to 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, this is almost done. Now I'll add previously fried prawns. 
and give a mix. Add half teaspoon garam masala powder. Mix it. We cook the entire dishes in our thali with mustard oil. Mustard oil gives nice level to your dish and it helps. And cover the pan for another 5 minutes or so. Take off the lid. Into chingri is ready. Now I am going to make our fish dish Rui Machir Kalia or Rohu fish with spicy gravy. It is traditionally age old Bengali fish curry. Into the very hot oil add fish pieces which are marinated with little bit of turmeric powder and salt. Fry them for 3 to minutes each side. They will turn light golden brown in color. Take them out from the pan. Into the remaining oil, temper the oil with 2 bay leaves, 1 4 teaspoon pachforon, add 3 teaspoon onion paste, fry it thoroughly. Pachforon is a basically mixture of 5 spices. It consists of fenugreek seed, nigella seed, cumin seed, black mustard seed, and fennel seeds in equal parts. Now you can see the onions turns golden brown, add a pinch of sugar, it gives nice caramelized color to the dish, add 1 teaspoon garlic paste, mix them, fry them for 2 minutes as its raw flavor dissolve. If you want to make doi doi recipe you can also check it out, I will give the link in the description box below. Add Two medium sized tomato puree, cook nicely. If the tomatoes are raw, I do not boil them, roughly chop to them and blend it. Add 1 teaspoon turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon red chilli powder, 3 to 4 slitted green chilies, 1 teaspoon Kashmiri red chilli powder. 1 teaspoon cumin powder, 1 4 teaspoon garam masala powder, salt to taste, 1 teaspoon ginger paste. Mix all the ingredients very nicely. Cook for few minutes as their raw flavors are gone. Add water. Give a quick mix. If you have any fish recipes idea, you can tell me. Now add previously fried fish pieces. I have taken 250 gram of fish. These are quite big pieces and it need more time to cook. But you can take normal pieces of fish, turn them and cook for 6 to 8 minutes. Now the gravy is thick enough. You can make this recipe with katla fish also. Rui Macher Kalia is ready. You can also check my another fish recipes. I will give the link in the description box. Now I am going to make Bengali's delicacy kosha mangsho or mutton kosha. It is a very popular traditional Bengali dish. I will first marinate the mutton. Add 3 teaspoon onion paste, 1 teaspoon garlic paste, 1 teaspoon ginger paste, half teaspoon turmeric powder, half teaspoon red chili powder, half teaspoon cumin powder, 1 4 teaspoon coriander powder, 1 teaspoon salt and half teaspoon mustard oil. Coat the mutton pieces very nicely.
grease the marinated mutton for at least 3 hours. Now into a kadai add 2 tablespoon mustard oil, tempered oil with 2 dry red chilies, 2 bay leaf and half teaspoon cumin seeds. Give a light stir. Add 3 medium sized sliced onion, put the flame low to medium. Koshamangsha is a dish where we use both the onion paste and sliced onion. Fry onion until they are transparent. When the onions are done, add 2 teaspoon garlic paste, fry them, add 1 medium sized diced tomatoes, quickly fry it, cook the tomatoes until they are little soft. Now add the dry spices, add 1 teaspoon turmeric powder. 2 tsp red chilli powder 1 tsp sugar 1 tsp cumin powder 1 tsp coriander powder 1 tsp kashmiri red chilli powder for color and 2 tsp ginger paste Saute them thoroughly Koshamangshu is a spicy recipe You can adjust the spices as per your taste You also can add potatoes if you like but today I don't add potato. Now add marinated mutton pieces. I have taken 1 kg mutton. Cook with masala. If you want to refrigerate the marinated mutton, then take them out from the refrigerator 30 minutes before cooking. If you cook our dish, please take a picture and post it on our Facebook page or also you can mail us. I will give the email id in the description box. Now add salt to taste. But remember, you add salt while marination. Mix the salt very nicely. Add warm water little by little and slow cook it. That is known as koshano in Bengal. You can see the vibrant color. It would take 20 minutes. Add warm water and cook for 1 hour to 1 hour 15 minutes. It depends on the quality of meat. If you want to make this much quicker, just pressure cook it. Cover the pan. After 1 hour, muttons are nicely tender. Add half teaspoon garam masala powder, mix them. You can also check my mutton curry recipe and mutton kosha in pressure cooker recipe. I'll give the link in the description box. Put off the flame. Kosha mangsho is ready. Now I'll make the bitter item of our thali that's increase your test level. This is Corolla Jhal for you. This is my mom's recipe. Add 1 teaspoon mustard oil. Heat it up. Add finely chopped bitter goat or karela. Stir fry it.
when they become little soft then add two slitted cream chili i have taken two small bitter coat now add one fourth teaspoon turmeric powder salt to taste pinch of sugar saute Now add a paste mixture. It is the mixture of mustard seed, poppy seeds and green chili. Mix them nicely. It is basically slowly stir fried bitter gourd on low heat with mustard oil and simple spice. Finish with few drops of mustard oil. Corolla chal is ready. Now I will make matcha mathadi moong dal or yellow lentils with fish head. It's a signature dal of Bengal made with rohu or katla fish head. Into the hot mustard oil, fry the fish head. I cut the fish head into half. There was marinated with salt and turmeric powder. Turn them and fry another side. Take them out from the pan and set aside. I am using remaining oil. Temper the oil with 2 bay leaves, 2 cinnamon sticks, 1 cardamom, 3 to 4 cloves, 2 dry red chilies, and half teaspoon nigella seeds. Give a quick stir. All the flavors of whole spices goes into the oil. Add sliced onion. I have taken 2 medium sized onions. Onions are very thinly sliced. When the onions are transparent, add 1 teaspoon garlic paste. Saute them for a few minutes. Now add some diced tomato. Fry them. You can also use desiccated tomatoes in your cooking. Now time for spices. Add 1 teaspoon turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon red chilli powder, 1 teaspoon cumin powder. Mix nicely. Now add 1 teaspoon ginger paste, 2 slitted green chilies, mix the ginger with the spices. Add previously boiled moong dal or yellow lentils, mix nicely with the masala, roast the moong dal in a pan then boil it. Add water. Give a mix. I add another half cup of water into the dal. Add 1 teaspoon sugar, salt to taste. Mix very nicely. At this stage, add previously fried fish heads. Just break them with the spatula that's why all the flavors come out from the fish head into the dal. Bring them boil. And add 1 teaspoon garam masala powder and 1 teaspoon clarified butter or ghee. 
mix them it's really a flavorful dal and also nutritious Mathe matha de dal is ready. Normally you can enjoy this dal with some rice and churo alu bhaja that is crispy potato fries. Now I am going to make kacha ame chutney or green mango spicy condiment. Chutney is a summer special Bengali delicacy holds a pre-dessert slot in a Bengali meal. Into a pan add 1 teaspoon mustard oil. Tempered oil with one dry red chilli and one fourth teaspoon mustard seeds. When this bladder, add wash and clean mango. Cut the mango lengthwise and discard the seed. Fry them. I don't peel the mango because it would give a nice flavor and texture in this chutney. But wash the raw mango very cleanly. Add half teaspoon turmeric powder, saute it as the color in hand. Now water. Salt to taste. Give a quick mix. Cover the pan and cook for 10 minutes or until all the mangoes nicely soft. Put off the lid. Add chopped cashew nuts and raisins and half cup of sugar. Adjust the quantity of sugar as per the sourness of mango. Add half teaspoon patch foreign powder, roast it and grind it. Mix nicely. You can see the consistency of the chutney. It is tangy as well as sweet. Mango chutney is ready. It goes well with papad. You can also store this chutney for 4 to 5 days in refrigerator. I don't fry the papad in this thali. I just roast them. If you want to fry it, you can. Now I am going to make our first dessert item of our thali that is payesh or rice and milk pudding. It is served on several occasions in Bengali communities. Take 500 ml of milk. Boil it. Keep stirring it. I will add bay leaf and cardamoms to the milk. Those two spices give nice flavor to the milk. Add two bay leaves, two slitted cardamoms, star, now add soaked kamini rice. If you don't get kamini rice then take kobindu pork rice. I soaked them for half an hour. Keep stirring it. Kamen rice has a beautiful flavor and nice fragrance. It used to prepare many different dishes. Now you can see the milk has reduced. If you take 500 ml of milk then take 25 gram of rice. Now you can see the grain of rice are little fluffy and soft. Now I'll add the sugar. It's half cup of sugar mixed nicely. You can adjust the quantity of sugar as per your test. Now add chopped cashew nuts. Mix it. 
If you don't want to add sugar, you can add jaggery also, then it will call good advice. Switch off the flame, then add raisins. Mix it. Spice is ready. Sprinkle some chopped pistachio and raisin on the top. If you want to serve paish when it is hot or you refrigerate it and serve full as I am doing. Now I am going to make our second dessert item, Malai Kulfi. Kulfi is a popular frozen dairy dessert originating from the Indian subcontinent. It is often described as traditional Indian ice cream. Into a pan, Take 500 ml of full fat milk, 1 boil the milk and keep stir it, otherwise the bottom of the pan will be burned. It would take 20 to 25 minutes to reduce in half on low medium flame. You can see the milk has reduced to half. Now add 3 teaspoon milk powder. Mix it very nicely and quickly and make sure there are no lumps. You can add heavy cream to it. If you add heavy cream then it will thicker more quickly. If you add heavy cream then don't add powder milk. Add 2 third cup of sugar. Mix them. Now we can see the milk has changed its color, become thick. Add chopped almonds, chopped pistachio, pinch of cardamom powder. Give a good mix. If you love fennel flavor, then you can add half teaspoon fennel seed powder. Pull it down and then pour it into the matka or earthen pot. If you don't have clay pot or matka, then use kulfi mold. Set them into the refrigerator for 6 hours to overnight. You should make this preferably before the day you serve. From 500 ml of meal, I have made 2 malai kulfi. Top some chopped raisins. chopped pistachio and saffron strings. Malai kulfi is ready. Now I will make potato fry with poppy seed that is posto de alu bhaja. They taste so good that you can eat them as it is. Into hot mustard oil, add one whole dry red chili. Now add cubed potatoes. Those are marinated with very little salt and turmeric powder. Fry them. Now add salt and 1 teaspoon poppy seed but remember we marinate the potatoes with salt so add less salt during fry. Fry for a minute. For a little spiciness and color add just half teaspoon red chili powder. Give a quick stir. Potato fry is ready. Now 
Now make the last item of our thali is begun bhaja that is fried eggplant. Into the hot oil add previously marinated begun or eggplant. I marinate them with salt and turmeric powder. This is the most requested video on our channel. If you have big eggplant, you can cut them in ring pieces. After frying them, they are nicely soft and brown in color. They are ready. Finally, we complete our Bengali non-veg thali and serve them on ardan plate. We start our non-veg thali journey from Bengal. If you guys like this thali, we'll make more thalis from different regions. Thank you so much for watching this video. Do subscribe to my channel. If you like this recipe, please hit the like button and give your valuable feedback in the comment section below. And don't forget to share this video. Thank you. Bye.